this is really not how I expected the finale of this series to go. I really did expect to go through the Elite Four with the rematch, but the game bugged out on me and it doesn't look like that's going to be possible, unfortunately. I did have a story to tell. I'll see if I can squeeze it in here. It was going to be a lot easier with the Elite Four rematch. I'll put uh, what the uh, trainers have in the description for the Elite Four rematch. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to show it off too much uh, since they won't give me access to it. Uh, I'll still see if I can tell the story here, but it's going to be a lot harder and we'll probably be interrupted by some sadness as we go through, but you know, it's kind of a sad story anyway. All right. Hello. Welcome to Trainer Tower, where trainers gather from all over. Trainers are awaiting your challenge up to the eighth floor. Would you like to challenge the waiting trainers? Sure. We're going to do single. It's the first one on the list. I might have just as good of a chance to do this as any other thing that I try. All right, single. Okay, I'll get the clock started, so give it everything you have. On your marks, get set, and go. I don't think there's an actual clock for this. Uh, but for the event that I went to, it was actually in Escondido, which if you're from here, you know, is actually quite a drive. It's like a two, two and a half hour drive, depending on traffic. Uh, it's a suburb of San Diego. And uh, somehow I convinced my dad to drive me down there. The event started at 8 o'clock in the morning, too, so that was a Saturday. So I drive all the way down there. I have my perfect six Pokemon team because it was going to be a tournament. Uh, they gave me Mew as I walked in the door, which was awesome. They gave me all this stuff about don't use Game Shark, and I'm like, holy crap, they might catch on that I used the rare candy glitch with, with missing no, but uh, they didn't check for that. So I was happy about that. Let's head over here and get into the fight. Let's get with it right away. Yeah. yeah, this one starts off strong. This one starts off strong. This is Sailor Alberto. I already kind of went over what he has. He starts off with a Feraligator. Very good water Pokemon. I believe it is a, well, I know it's a starter. I believe it's a starter in generation two. Could be three, but I'm thinking two. Like I said, after this, my memory's hazy, plus me trying to fix things makes my memory hazy. I have Fistimich out front because uh, Cube cannot finish for Alligator in one shot. Just not going to happen. For Alligator is too damn good. So I'm going to do what I can against for Alligator. And that includes starting with Fake out here. And for Alligator does flinch. All right, then we'll go for the Body Slam. Uh, so the Pokemon team that I brought with me to uh, the actual tournament, back when I was a kid, I mean, this was before even Yellow came out. Um, I think it was before Yellow came out. It was definitely before the Gold and Silver were even on my radar. I never even heard of them. All right, we'll go for the Body Slam. My team. Oh, really? Oh, it's still got Earthquake, though. Another reason not to use Cube. My perfect team that I had worked for weeks getting up to max level using rare candies was going to be Alakazam, my favorite Pokemon still to this day. Since Mewtwo is banned, I love using Alakazam. It is so good in the first generation. Uh, then I had Charizard, Blastoise, Articuno, Zapdos, and I believe my sixth was... Gengar, uh, which was my counter to, to Psychic because I didn't understand how the game worked well enough, apparently. All right, we'll go for a body slam. That should finish the Feraligator here. Now, those of you that were paying extra careful attention to my team might have noticed one glaring weakness. I don't have anything to counter Electric. And that's true, I didn't. Uh, except that my Charizard, you see, I thought I had. My Charizard had... Dig. And that was going to be my counter. All right, he's got a Kangaskhan. <sighs> I'm going to take my chances with Broman. I'm going to take my chances with Broman. Broman does have something particularly good against a Kangaskhan, I would think. I know a lot of you were sighing pretty heavily when I said that my counter to electricity was Dig. You see... I did not realize that uh, switching was a thing in the first generation of game 
I, I never encountered a trainer that switched. Uh, when I battled my friend, neither one of us thought to switch too often. <laughs> what the hell, game? I'm telling a story here. Stop spazzing out on me. We're gonna go for brick break and really just hope for the best here. Is Brick Break going to be good enough? Not quite. Kangaskhan is so damn beefy. Oh, and Kangaskhan has Aerial Ace. That's four times effective against Broman. But Broman lives. Broman lives. All right, Brick Break. And down goes the Kangaskhan. Oh, man, that was close. But Broman lived through it. No experience, no money. But damn it, I won. I won. It's all over. I surrender. Okay, I concede. I lost. Damn right you did. And we're doing a hell of a lot better than I had originally anticipated doing. So we're going to continue on with the story. So, uh, also, not only did I not realize that switching was as common as it was, they actually had to add moves into the game in later generation to kind of cut down on people switching so damn much. Uh, not only did I not realize that, and, and therefore two turn moves were just utter crap in multiplayer, I also didn't realize that uh, defensive Pokemon are also a thing. As you might have noticed, there, there are still some glaring weaknesses on my team, but you see, I had covered all of them offensively. So as long as I went first and I one-shotted the Pokemon, things were going to work out for the best for me. Th that was the plan. Poison is just so awful, isn't it? It can be. It definitely can be. Are you a poison trainer? You're a bug catcher? Brandon, what the hell are you doing here? He starts off with a bee drill, which is a not so great Pokemon, especially when I have a flyer with me. So we're gonna. Oh! Beedrill is faster? Really? Beedrill's actually got some stats that I was unaware of. Alright, go for Drill Pack! That should finish off the Beedrill. I can't imagine Beedrill tanking that. Yeah, just not gonna happen. So. I would get there, I get my Mew, which is something they gave me as soon as I showed up. I think I mentioned that already, but, um. They said, hey, you know, if you want to level that up all the way to level 100 and use it on your team, feel free. But uh, I didn't see how that was going to happen. Uh, looking back, they expected everybody there to use the missing no glitch. Uh, Yon was coming out, in case you can't read. Uh, so Lord Yon is going to stay out. And should do just fine against the Yonma. Why the hell is it so... Slow, Lord Yawn, what the hell's your problem? You better wake up. Damn right you wake up. That's your ability. You have to make up for you being so damn slow. And down goes the Yanma. If Beedrill couldn't take it, the Yanma can't take it. Right, yeah, that one's easy. A lot easier than for Alligator and Kangaskhan. They really try to scare you off at the first one, don't they? Huh? Our poison didn't work? You didn't even try to use poison. You used double team and hypnosis. Nice job wasting your turns on statuses that didn't even work out for you. Why don't you give me money? Poison is a terrible torment, isn't it? Not as bad as toxic, really. So after a presentation that I really wasn't paying attention to in Escondido, uh, they sat me down across from an opponent and said, all right, uh, show your opponent your Pokemon. So I show him my Pokemon. It's on the screen somehow. I don't know how they got it to work, but you could see your opponent's team. Uh, my opponent, uh, seemingly nice kid, he had named all his Pokemon after Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, so I was up against, uh, I think, Sun Goku, uh, Sun Gohan, Frieza, and other ones. I think Piccolo was in there, Krillin probably. I don't I don't remember, but they were all Dragon Ball Z characters. And he has to so I ask him, I'm like, you know, hey, what the hell? Who are these? Uh, once again, I didn't nickname my Pokemon. So he goes over the list of his Pokemon and I only hear about half of them. <laughs> That's giving me a lot of credit that I heard about half of them. Uh, but what I did hear was uh, Gyarados. I heard that so instantly I knew to bring in Zapdos, 
uh, my electric Pokemon. Uh, outside of that, I, I didn't hear too much. As we take on this guy. Uh, let's have an explosion party! Oh dear god, let's not. If you fucking do it, if you do this shit to me, Juggler Jarrett has a wheezing out front. Don't you dare explode on me. I got Mr. Jensi. Uh, so, before he, they sat me down across from my opponent, they told they told all of us, uh, for these first couple matches, uh, only three Pokemon are going to be allowed. Holy shit, this is new to me. So, I have to pick three Pokemon, which is why when he said Gyarados, I went, oh shit, I gotta bring out my Zapdos. So I ended up choosing uh, my Zapdos, my Charizard, and my Alakazam. Uh, because I heard that he used, he said an electric type. I believe I heard that he said Jolteon, but probably I just heard electric. I'm gonna go for Psychic, Mr. Jensi. Mm, it's the same level as you and it's a wheezing. Can you do it? Mr. Jensi is still so damn good. How the hell is he so damn good? All right, he's going to switch to an Execute. I will change. Broman, this is your time to shine. Better fucking land it. So I bring out my three Pokemon. Uh, I believe that I had Zapdos starting out front because I knew that was going to be good for me. And he starts out with a Gyarados and I'm excited. Go for the Thunderbolt. And he switches in a Jolteon. Uh, so then I go for uh, I go for the switch because uh, Yeltion doesn't take that much damage from the Thunderbolt. Uh, so I switch in uh, Charizard, who, if you remember, is my counter to to Electric types. We'll go for Mega Horn here. It's a Bug type move. You better land it, and it lands. Oh, this should be super duper effective against the Execute. Oh, we're doing well here. We're doing well. A lot better than I had anticipated. So much better than I had anticipated. Knife self-destruct there! You're perfect! What? I swept! Wanna party some more? No! Why is everybody shouting at me here? So, with his Jolteon out and me switching to a Charizard, he thinks I'm a lot better than I am. And he does not go for a Thunder or a Thunderbolt or any kind of electric move. He goes for like Swift or something like that. It was really weird uh, looking back on it. Uh, that lands on my Charizard, uh, but then my Charizard goes for a Dig, right? That's my counter. Uh, he goes for Thunder, which luckily misses. So my Charizard is now underground and uh, uh, of course he's going to be switching because he's not stupid. Uh, so he switches his Jolteon to a Gyarados. Now I have my Charizard out. So I switch back to my, my Zapdos, and, and you can start to see where this is going. Uh, eventually, though, I figured out, real quick, I don't have a counter to Jolteon at all. Not whatsoever. So he sweeps me. Um, I never got to see his third Pokemon. All I got to see was a, a Gyarados and a Jolteon. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! So, despite my weeks of training, getting up at like five o'clock in the morning, driving two hours down to San Diego, I lost the first match easily. It wasn't even close. Youngster Cole, I'm taking this out on you. Mr. Jensi, I hope you're better than a Primeape. You might not be faster than it, though. Yeah, you're not. It goes for overheat, but I missed! Oh, Mr. Jensi, you're so damn lucky! You should be able to take out the Primeape with that. And you do. Why would it go for overheat? Does it not have anything better? That's kind of weird. All right, he's going to switch to a slow bro, so indeed I will switch. You know, Cube has done it in the past, and the Broman could be weak to it, so we're going to go with Cube. So that's my sad story about uh, going to San Diego and, and going to the one Pokemon event. At least I completed my Pokedex. Got 
151 Pokemon for the record. When you complete your Pokédex, uh, you just get a little certificate. It doesn't even initiate credits or anything like that. All right, it goes for Flamethrower? What? Holy crap, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And Citrus Berry restored health. Ugh, that might, that might have done it. Cube, are you gonna be able to take out the slow bro here? Down it goes. Oh, I lucked out there. I should have probably healed Cube or something. I don't know. I uh, done in totally. But he screams at me. You're too strong. Yes. Yes. I'm actually amazed that I've even made it this far, considering that I'm on an unevolved run. All right, we will continue on. Ah. So yeah, it was a long drive back home. Two hours. I'm like, what, how old would I have been? 11 or so, probably. Somewhere around there. Yeah, I cried. That was That was not a proud moment for me. That was not that was not good times. Lost in probably about three minutes. My Pokemon are scary strong. It was single elimination, so I was just like, hey, I'm just gonna go home now. <laughs> Camper Joey would like to battle. He's got a Nido King out front. I still have Mr. Jensen. Nido King is not as weak physically as it is specially so you know this this is just better for me i think mr jensi should be able to take out the nido king no problem take out the wheezing no problem yeah so down goes the nido king hey, as long as i know what you're going to throw out and you don't know how to switch things are going to work out well for me all right he's gonna switch to a tauros though and tauros is going to be a little difficult for me. I'm gonna throw out Brom and Tauros is very, very fast though. Maybe I should have considered throwing Fistamich out, but you know what? Broman. Broman for the time being. Cut his attack. But we have Brick Break. It goes for Body Slam! But I have Brick Break! That's not quite half of mine, but I got more than half of yours. Go for Brick Break again. Goes for Body Slam. Unless he got a critical, I should live through this. Broman lives. Go for the Brick Break. And down goes the Tauros. And Broman survives yet again, despite getting his attack cut. So, it worked out well. Down goes Joey. Your Pokemon are way too strong. How the hell am I still going? The way Pokemon matchup is important. Yes, the way Pokemon matchup is important. What? Why are you telling me this now? 